Oh, it's a beautiful day out today. What is that? It's a wild sword and shield trainer box. Now we have to be very slow. Very slow. Caught it. All right. Look at that. We caught one. We caught a wild trainer box. Sorry, I didn't see you there. It's Banger back again with another card opening today. And yes, the intro was a little strange, but there's reasoning for it. Zane is actually who decided of what I'm gonna be opening today. Now, Zane's grandmother is actually who got in contact with me on one of my posts last night. And he had said that he wanted me to open the Sword and Shield trainer box. So I was happy to, but I wasn't just gonna stop there, no. We're opening two Elite Trainer Boxes. And for Zane, man, we're not stopping there either. No, we're opening two Elite Trainer Boxes and eight separate packs of Sword and Shield. So Zane, this video's for you, man. And at the end of the video, I have something for Zane. And it, watch the whole video. Hopefully all of you guys enjoy. I think it's a pretty cool surprise for him, but I guess we'll find out anyway. Let's just go ahead and get straight into the opening, guys. This is a lot of cards, a lot of packs, so it's gonna take us a while. Hopefully you stick through the whole thing. Click like, subscribe, and let's get going. All right, guys, well, let's go ahead and get into this. Like I said, we got eight of these Sword and Shield packs and two of the Sword and Shield Elite Trainer boxes. Now, I've never opened one of these trainer boxes, so I don't know how these work. I know that there's some artwork there on the inside. We got Lapras, Snorlax. What is that? Zum is that Zamazenta or Zacian? Oh, we got both. Okay, so yeah, we got Zamazenta and Zacian. So we'll just go ahead and leave that right there. And oh, what do we got right here? Let's go ahead and dig in to this booklet real quick. I think this has all the cards that are in the set or something, something of that nature. Oh, okay, so here we go. So we have all of the cards that we could pull. Actually, my niece uh, pulled the rainbow uh, bed, but I want one of the gold cards or the gold Zashi or Zamazenta. That that would be cool. Any of the rainbows, that would be awesome. Or even any of the uh, any of the full art ultra rares would be pretty sick too. That'd be pretty awesome. But there's that. We don't need that. Now, let's go ahead and get into the box. All right. Packaging looks really, really good. Let's go ahead and take this out. All right, so we got our dice. We got our burn and poison counters. Ooh, our card sleeves. I've been needing some card sleeves, and that, that's actually part of the reason that I ended up getting these, so that's really cool to have those. Uh, I'm going to save those code cards. Got our dividers here. And our energies. And last but not least, we have our packs of sword and shield. So we're gonna set those down. We're actually gonna put all these sword and shield packs into their own stacks. So I have a stack from first box and a stack from on their own. And then we'll open up this other sword and shield box. There we go. Again, more card sleeves. Seeing our code card, energies, our dividers, our counters, and our dice. And then we have 
are eight packs from the other Sword and Shield box. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open them in order. So I'm gonna open this box and then I'm gonna open the packs that I got as individual packs. And then I'm gonna open the other box. And we're gonna see which one ends up having the best pulls. So let me go ahead and clean this stuff up real quick and let's get into the pulls. Alrighty guys. Well, I, uh, I changed up how the camera was sitting so that we could uh, have this awesome view. Actually, let me go ahead and uh, tilt that up just a hair. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and start with the left box. Bumped into that a little bit on accident, my fault. All right, Zane. This is what you picked, man. So let's let's hope we end up getting something cool. I'm saving you those code cards, don't worry. And let's go ahead and hop straight into the first box. We're gonna guess lightning. Uh, of course we don't get the first one, but you know, that's okay. Yeah, for Club Cottony. Ooh. Okay, and oh, a Zashian V! Zashian V right off the bat. Full Art Ultra Rare. That is awesome. Actually, let me go ahead and get some sleeves. All right, guys, I'm back. I grabbed our sleeves from the uh, Elite Trainer boxes. So we got our sleeves for our Zashian V, our first pull here of the day. Good. Get Zashian in there. Perfect. All right. On to the second pack. I think Zane might have been on to something sitting there picking these sword and shields. Well, we're going to find out. Well, that's a green code card. So hopefully it works out. Water. Oh, all right. So we missed the guess of the energy on the first one, but we got it on the second one and we got a Zashian V on uh, on the first pack. So that's cool. Quillfish, Mincino, Sobble, Blip Plug, Ball Toy, Wooloo, another Ball Toy, and oh, Cramorant. This thing taunts me, I swear. I, I've pulled this multiple times on the channel so far don't understand it well, let's go ahead and dig our way into this next pack all right we're gonna guess leaf energy dang all right well you don't win all the battles especially if you're ash you never win all the battles if you're ash <laughs> you lost a lot Ball toy reverse again, and Professor's Research holographic. I've actually pulled one of these already, so that's really cool. Um, I would I would like to pull the full art. If I'm not mistaken, the full art ultra rare actually is worth more money than the rainbow ultra rare of this. So we'll go ahead and grab a sleeve for it, just because we have like 130 of them from these two boxes. So there's no point in not putting things like that in a sleeve. Also, like I was saying, guys, um, Zane is who decided I should do the uh, do these for the polls today. So uh, go ahead and give him a shout out. And let's see, uh, Lightning, dang. Um, but yeah, no, uh, give Zane a shout out. Let him know he did a good job picking this stuff. Uh, I'm gonna hope that we end up pulling some really cool stuff. Like I said at the end of the video, uh, I am gonna have a surprise for him which hopefully ends up working out and he enjoys. Toxicrope reverse rare. And <laughs> why, 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 why? Uh... Uh, yeah, anyway, I have a surprise for him. Um, also, like I said uh, during the intro, at least I believe I said it, um, go ahead and leave in the comments if you guys could have one card from this entire opening which one would it be and why would you want it? Uh, just because of the monetary value, because it's one of your favorites, uh, favorite Pokemon, favorite card, uh, dark energy, dang it. 
um you know whatever but yeah go ahead and let me know because i am really curious uh i really don't even know what i would want to pull out of this out of this set i don't i don't know a lot about this set oh real boom holographic all right nothing too crazy we're gonna we'll throw that in a sleeve there just because we have them there we go yeah, I'm actually, I'm really not too uh, too upset about these newer packs. Uh, I know for a little while there, I just, I really didn't like a lot of them. And that basically is the reason that I wasn't collecting anymore and got back into it. So I'm, I'm really excited. Uh, let's go. Oh man, fighting energy. Dark twice in a row. That, that was twice in a row, right? At least I think it was. Uh, Hitmonlee again, Salazzle, Metal Saucer, Silicobra, Mencino, Vulpix, Muna, Rosalia, Diglett, and Indeedy V. Oh man, just I, I feel like they they made Indeedy a V card just because of how it sounds when you say V afterwards. Indeedy V. Super. I, I don't know. I, I think it was more of a joke than anything, but you know to each their own whatever you think or wish but all right we got two packs left for this first box over here on the left and let's go ahead and tear into this really quick i'm hoping this isn't going to be a 30 minute video i'm going to try to get through these but this is going to be a fairly large opening i i mean it's going to be the largest opening on my on my channel so far uh water energy Dang it. Stunfisk, Hyper Potion, Rosalia, Pharaoh Seed, Krabby, Zigzagoon, Glossifleur, Hoot Hoot, and Fable. Non holographic. Well, let's hop into the last pack for that first box and see what we end up getting here. Come on. Let me in there. Come on. I know you got something in there for me. You're being difficult. Oh, I see a Pikachu. Oh, I think I showed that card on accident. Well, you know what? There we go. The last card of each each stack. I'll go ahead and give the code card away. That way you guys can have it. But I am saving the rest of them, uh, like I said, for Zane. All right. And Lightning. All right. So we're two for two. Uh, just in the first stack, not even for the entire opening. So that's cool. Stunfisk, Hyper Potion, Grunt, Pikachu, Sinisty, Wooloo, Shelter, Krogunk, Maractus, and a Rhyperior Holographic. I already have one of these, if not two, actually. I do believe I have two of them already. Uh, just being pulled in the last couple weeks. So uh, it may be a holographic rare, but it's fairly common in the grand scheme so that first box there was eight packs and these were the pulls the holographic pulls so we had five holographic pulls Rhyperior, ndtv rillaboom professor's research and a zashian v which i'm really happy about this this was the first card of the opening the first pack of the opening really and so that was that was awesome. So we're gonna go ahead and leave that in its own stack. And I'm gonna go ahead and clean up and we'll get to the second stack. Alrighty. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna get into the second box and then the individual packs, just because it's a lot easier for somebody to come by and weigh individual packs. I already took these out of the cardboard and everything, but it's a lot easier for somebody to weigh these individually and take out the ones that weigh heavy uh, compared to somebody weighing a box. So. We're going to go ahead and get into the second box here. I'm going to dig in. I'm showing you guys the first card. Whatever. Set that aside. And we're going to say Metal Energy. Dang it. Thwacky. Citrus Berry. Ferro Seed. Krabby. Zigzagoon. Glossifier. Cobra. Toxicroak and Rosa Raid. 
Definitely not a strong start on this second box like we had on the first box, but we still got a bunch of packs to go. So there is definitely a good chance. Yeah, no, um, uh, let's do uh, water. Bang. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, actually ask you guys, have you guys ever actually weighed packs at a store? Um, I, I've i been tempted. I feel like morally that's kind of not a cool thing to do just because, I mean, you got to think about it. Some kid comes in trying to get packs or something and try to find a cool card and the parents only have the money for the one pack and they get nothing because someone came through and took all the heavy packs. So, oh, Keldeo V. All right. You know what, uh, Alolan Ponita actually, um, looking like a unicorn and everything, my niece is actually in love with that card. And Keldeo, especially the V card, looking as good as it does, I think I might just have to give this one away to the niece. Um, yeah, no, she's actually, she has pulled a rainbow trainer card and I haven't even pulled a rainbow card yet. So she's super lucky, I don't know why I'm being nice and giving her these cards that she wants. But you know what? You gotta look out for the younger generation and you gotta keep them excited about about the game and everything and, and the collecting. But yeah, no, let me know if you guys have ever weighed cards uh, dark. Um, and let me know, I mean, if it's worked out for you, if you have weighed cards and uh, you ended up taking cards home and didn't get anything really good out of them, uh, was it really worth doing it? Inteleon, non-holographic. Because, like I said, I have been tempted. I've, uh, I've also been tempted. GameStop, actually, on their website right now, has, like, 20% off all of their Pokemon cards. And uh, I, I do believe that the Evolutions packs are, like, a dollar per pack of uh, Fire. And so I was thinking about just buying, like, 100 packs of Evolutions next time I get paid, and, oh, there we go, Galarian Ponita, right as we're talking about it, uh, but I was thinking about getting, like, 100 packs of Evolutions, just in search of the Charizard, the reprint Charizard, um, personally, I would rather have the reverse holographic Charizard than the regular holographic, especially it being Evolutions, it's not worth nearly as much, like, not even in the same area code of the, the original, uh, first edition Charizards, but, oh, 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 what is this? Is this Venomoth or a Butterfree? Oh, a Celebi! I was just talking today to Zane's grandmother, and he had actually, I gave him some of my code cards, and he pulled a Celebi V on the online TCG game, and they had said that they had a couple Celebi Vs that they were willing to give me for giving him the code cards, and I said no. I want to be able to pull Celebi on my own. I haven't yet. This is one of my favorite Pokemon ever. Probably in my top 10, top 15. And the day that I say that is the day that I end up pulling it. That is awesome. The centering looks pretty decent on the front. Uh, on the back, it's definitely off. Um, you know, top to bottom and right to left is definitely off a little bit. So... Not anything worth getting graded, but definitely something worth putting in the sleeve. And I am curious to find out if I do end up getting any repeats in the same opening today. That would be kind of a bummer. But there we go. That's two pulls, and we got four packs left. So let's go ahead and go through the rest of this Elite Trainer box. I know this video is already going to be long. I can already tell. But, you know, that's okay. This is all fun. Um, I am thinking about donating some of my cards that I get. Uh, we're going to do Dark. Uh, I have been thinking about donating some of these cards. Uh, not just the bad ones or the energies and, you know, crap like that. But I have been thinking about donating, you know, uh, around Christmas time especially. Uh, kids in need in my area. Um, I mean, uh, kids would be happy, even a non-holographic Maractus, you know, uh, holographic Rhyperior, things like that, that I have doubles of, uh, I'd be more than happy. So I'm going to have to look into that. And if anybody wants to, uh, to put in on that, Stonger, okay. 
Um, but yeah, if anybody wants to uh, to help out with that and wants to get together with me and donate some cards or some packs around Christmas time, plushies, anything really Pokemon related uh, during Christmas to kids in need, that'd be awesome. I, I've been thinking about that lately. Uh, we're gonna do fire. Of course, the, the one time I don't call it dark. I've been calling dark a lot today. I think that says something about my character. Uh, Doug Trio, Silicobra, Yamper, Krabby, Kilfant, Baltoy, Wooloo. God, Wooloo's freaking adorable. Look at that. And Claydol. Of course. All right, we got two packs left to go on this last box. There's only been two pulls out of this box, so we're going to have to hope for something pretty cool. All right. Judging by that code card, I really don't think there's anything in this pack, but you never know. You, you never know. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, fire. Dang. I don't think I've called Leaf today, actually. I might have. Linoon, Encino, Chinchow, Krogunk, Meowth, Scorbunny, Chudo, and Rillaboom. That really sucks. Like, that card, holographic, would look great. That card, even in full art, would look awesome. But, of course, nothing there. Let's go ahead and tear into this last pack before we get into our independent packs. Now, when I did, in, when I did go and get these packs by themselves, uh, they had barely been touched at my local Walmart. So, I'm not sure if they had gone through and been weighed yet or not. Uh, we'll do uh, water. Oh man, I was going to pick that dude. Um, I, so yeah, I don't know if they had been weighed or not. Like I said, it seems like it's easier to weigh individual packs than boxes. But, you know, I'd have to do more research into that. I don't know if I would or not. On oh, no, a Wobbuffet V. Dang. I mean, it's going in the sleeve. We have the sleeves. Why not? But, uh, or a Wobbuffet not, you know. What, however you want to say it, whatever you want to think. But here are our pulls for our second box. Wobbuffet V, a Celebi V, and a Keldeo V. So this was the second box that we opened. This was the rares and hollows out of the first box that we opened. Definitely can tell which one ended up better. But... Let me go ahead and clean this stuff up and we will get on to the last little bit, the last stack, the individual packs. And then I have a surprise for Zane, who was the reason that I did this opening today at the end of the video. So stay tuned. All righty. Well, we are on to the last eight packs. Now, these are all packs that were individual packs at Walmart. So like I said, the chances of these having been weighed are definitely higher, but we're gonna hope that they weren't. I live in a somewhat rural area, and so I'm not sure if the chances of cards being weighed out here is quite as high as somewhere else in the US, but you never know who's around you or what people are doing. Nah, it's just a regular green card, so I really don't think there's gonna be anything in this. Let's go ahead and guess dark. Oh man, all right, that's three so far this video. That's great. Um, I wanna give some props to Leonhart. Um, he's actually the reason that I do the Guess the Energy. He's, I mean, it adds a fun effect. Oh, yeah, Galarian Bonita. The Guess the Energy just adds some fun to an opening. Drampa and Claydol. Dang. So yeah, he's actually who I got that from. There's a lot of people that I've talked to on some of the, the Pokemon pages on Facebook that I'm part of, and a lot of them actually watch, watch him. So there's just another regular green card. That sucks. So probably nothing in this. So we're just going to do Guess the Energy and Lightning. Dang. Hopefully that code card is wrong. Grookey, Sobble. Rhyhorn, Rosalia, Doug Trio, and a Noctowl. Darn. I I feel like I may have just picked the wrong things. 
but let's go ahead and dig into this like i said guys at the end of the video uh when i'm done with these packs another regular green one so probably nothing in this uh i do have a surprise for zane like i said uh him and his grandma live locally so um water so i will be doing something for him at the end of this video uh you know just give back you know get the kids and stuff into into pokemon grookey and a lapras Ooh, it might not be holographic but that artwork that artwork is just gorgeous. Yeah, you know what? I, I am gonna set this aside. It's not going in the sleeves, but that is definitely a gorgeous card. By the way, sorry for the dirty, dirty fingers and stuff. I'm dealing with with diesel, and oh oh, I think we might have something in this pack. I deal with diesel and oil and all that stuff all day, so I definitely get dirty. Um, dark. Uh, yesterday I did have a, uh, a forklift rack, um, fall onto my foot. So I was out of work today and definitely hurting a bit. Rhyhorn reverse hollow and a Zamazenta gold card. What? Whoa, no way. A gold Zamazenta V. Okay. 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 Uh, man, now I'm really regretting having dirty fingers. Oh, man. Uh, we need to get that. Oh, man. Get that in the sleeve as gentle as possible. The centering looks really good on the front. And on the back, the centering looks really, really good. Probably a 9, a 9.5 on centering. Oh, my gosh. We got a gold Zamazenta out of an individual pack. No way. That is that is the highlight of this video so far. A hundred percent. That is so cool. Oh man. Oh, we got another of the white and green code card. So hopefully something good in this one too. I still cannot get over, get over that. Uh, we're gonna say water. Dang. Oh man, Salazzle, Bisharp, Nicket, Baltoy, Chincho, Krabby, Mincino, Reverse Hollow Bolton, and a Snorlax V. Oh man. This poll tonight, this entire opening has definitely been an experience. Zane, oh my gosh, man. You deciding for me to do this has made my night, has given me so much content. Like, oh dude, I could not be happier. Thank you so much for telling me to open these. Oh, we got another white and green code card. So probably a holographic in this one as well. Uh, let's go ahead and say yeah, psychic. Oh, and of course I was going to say water. Everybody says they were going to say it, but you never know. Pikachu, Meow, Sizzlipede, Wooloo, Grookey, Capajera, and oh, and a holographic Capajera. Oh, man. Or, sorry, Copa, Copperara. I don't know how to say that one, honestly. But yeah, so we have a reverse hollow and a hollow. So you know what? Let's just, let's be nice. Just because they're in a, a matching pair out of the same pack. Oh, be nice to it. Just because they're a matching pair out of the same pack. Let's go ahead and put them in sleeves. I'm not going to put them with the pulls. That was the other pull from the individual cards. All right, we got two packs left to find out to find out which one was the best decision to get a trainer box or to get individual packs. All right. Was there a code card in there? Oh, there was. There was a code card. Okay. Uh, it's just a green code card, so not anything in this one, I really don't think. Um, we're going to say dark. Oh my god, alright, that's four tonight. 
We are definitely on fire with the guest the energies. Grookey, Mud Prey, Hoot Hoot, Hinchurgeon, Perp Perp Chirp Chirp Chin. <laughs> what the? F <laughs> Oranguru? All right, and a Cloister non holographic. That is definitely some, some interesting artwork, though. I dig that. All right, guys. So this is the last pack of the night. Like I said, click that like button, click the subscribe button. Let me know if you were to have any one of these cards that are in this opening. Oh, I think we might end this opening off decently at least. If you were to have any card in this opening, let me know what it would be. And to finish the last pack, I'm going to say Leaf. Oh, and we, we miss out on the last pack of the night. That sucks. Drizzle, Incense, Blipbug, Goldeen, Yamper, Skorupi, Globopus, Rillaboom, and Orangu. Oranguru. Holographic. Oh man. Well, you know, I know this is going to be a long video, you guys. However, I had a lot that was going into this. Uh, a, a lot of cards to open, some things to say. So this was the second box that we opened. Not bad out of eight packs. Uh, I mean, pulls could always be better. For example, the pulls could have been the first box. <laughs> Zashian V. Granted, it's not a gold one. You know, because we pulled a gold one. Zama Zenta V. I do believe the gold Zashian is worth more. But the Zama Zenta V is definitely worth some money. Uh, especially if you get it graded. And this seems like it's in fantastic condition. Like, just... That is a gorgeous card. Gorgeous, gorgeous card. But anyway, on to what the surprise for Zane is. If you guys have stuck around this long, I would love for it if you guys would stay for just another minute or two and hear me out. Uh, let me clean up real quick and I'll explain. Alrighty guys, so before I say anything, these are the V cards that we pulled tonight. Um, I didn't set up any of these holographic rares or anything really that I got. Um, I know that we got both of these, both the holographic and the reverse holo. But these are the V cards that we pulled. So out of two elite trainer boxes and eight sword and shield packs, we pulled uh, Ndidi V, Zashian V, a gold Zama Zenta V, which looks like it's in great condition. I would assume probably a graded nine. Uh, centering looks a little off, but besides that, there's no whitening. The edges look great. Everything's awesome on it. So I'm definitely going to pay to get that one graded. A Snorlax V, a Celebi V, which I have really been wanting to pull out of this set. Uh, Caldeo and a Wobbuffet. So really quick to Zane. Like I said, this video was inspired by Zane. He is the one that wanted me to open these. And originally I was just going to keep these sealed, but I wanted to open something and he's the one that told me to open these. So... For Zane, I am going to talk to his grandmother about getting these to him, but I have four brand new sealed, unweighed sword and shield packs, and I hope, I hope that he pulls something awesome out of these. I am going to keep in touch, and in my next opening, if I hear back from what he gets out of these, I will definitely post a picture and a reaction and stuff about that in my next opening. But thank you guys so much for watching, and Zane, again, thank you for telling me to open these packs. You are the reason that I have a gold Zamazenta V, my first gold ever. I haven't even pulled a rainbow yet, and I pull probably the second best card that you could pull out of this entire set. So thank you guys again for watching. Please click the like button, hit subscribe, and definitely let me know out of any of the cards here or any of the cards that I pulled tonight, which one you would have out of anything out of this entire opening. And I, I'll see you guys next time on the next card opening. Thanks guys, and bye.